Hello everyone, it's me Short Nature here back with a brand new video. So this is an update portion about the Felt Winter's Lie quest that's going to be going on right now. Uh, the community has, of course, has some negative sides about this quest since yesterday and going into this morning. A lot of people just feel like the quest line progression is not going anywhere. So when I left off before I made this video, uh, the European Dead Zone was at 6%, which, you know, is understandable because... If you look at it, the bunker this week is the uh, is the European dead zone, and then the next following week would be a different bunker. So for this week, I think the community base should their main focus should be the European dead zone. Try to get that done before we move on to the next bunker. Um, they said no, the quest progression is community base. Uh, the completion progression will update every fifteen or so minutes. Um, so the quest progression is based on the community if they join in and kind of help out and contribute. We hope these changes make the event slightly more accessible and help you see more meaningful progressions of this quest. Uh, they have made some adjustments to the champions and of course the progression modifier too. So we have made adjustments to the light quest and the serve tower difficulty. I feel like the serve tower difficulty, maybe, maybe that was the reason why people are not completing it fast enough or whatever, or it's just that people don't know what to do with the orange ball that drops out of the out of the towers and throwing it back in to kind of energize the tower maybe that is another issue too a lot of people don't know how to do the seraph towers just like they don't know how to do any other public event that is around the solar system uh the, the champions have reduced power levels and even and the event progression has been slightly toned uh, i feel like the champions wasn't so bad before this event like if the champions can take down fairly easy but if they feel like that will make 10 times much better for the community okay that's fine uh effective immediately the quest progression has been given five times modifier which we increase to 10 times on the weekends so hopefully that this update to the community event will maybe drive the community to kind of give it a chance and say okay maybe we'll give it a chance to do it and if, if these changes does effective immediately make some progressions slightly much better, then we can just go on from there. Because the progression was the problem for the quest step. Um, compared to like the other community-based events that we had, the progression was kind of fast. Just like with, for the Sundial, for example, that community event went really fast. Uh, everybody really contribute to the Sundial event compared to this. The reason why people contribute to the Sundial event, and I mentioned many times in a previous video, is that the Sundial event and the Menagerie and everything else that we have in Destiny 2 was match made playlists compared to this public event. I don't understand if you're gonna do an event in Destiny and you want people to get involved with this, why can't you make a six player activity event and do what we do with other events? The Sundial, the Normal Virgin, then we have the Heroic Virgin. Same thing with the Menagerie. We had the Menagerie and then we had the Heroic Virgin of the Menagerie. Why can't you do those type of six players events and make everybody happy? If you want everybody to join into this community event, make stuff, a match made activity. The blind well was a perfect example of like, wow, this is a really good event, but why is it a public event? Why can't it be a six player activity event for the community player base or like a limited time event or something? You have a rotation event or something like Menagerie this week, next week would be the blind well, the next following week would be EP, something to drive the player base to come back or something like that. Something to make the community happy because right now the community is not happy the state of destiny 2 right now and trust me i think bungie knows that like every year and they still can't drive it into their brain but hopefully that these changes will make everybody happy and satisfied let me know in the comment section down below will this be enough for this community event to get the felt winter's live shotgun available to everybody in the community i feel like there's going to be something locked behind this quest line that i feel like you don't really need a community event that's what i'm i don't know why but that's what i'm thinking at this point because if it's if it's like any other activity that we're doing there's always lock behind a mission or lock behind a special strike or something i just feel like if it's locked behind something like that that we had like the thorn quest and every other quest what was the point of the community event and then everybody would be disappointed so hopefully it won't be something like that but knowing bungie i feel like it's it's waiting to happen let me know if you think this is enough 
and we'll go on from there and I will catch you guys in my next post.